I've realized, right, trying to do the international show, that the cultural divide is so much greater than we think. The biggest difference I realized between us and our American cousins, right, when I went to California, was the attitude to drinking. Completely different. I heard sentences in California that I've never heard before in my life. Sentences like this. Oh my God. Oh my God. Did you see Larry? Larry had four glasses of wine with dinner. I think Larry may be an alcoholic. <laughs> yes, I know. Four glasses of wine with dinner in America, you're an alcoholic. Four glasses of wine with dinner in Britain, you're the designated driver. <laughs> Lads weekend. Lads weekend, okay? We went to Amsterdam, all right? So we're in Amsterdam, uh, and me and my chums, roops and diggers, right? We're down this kind of back street, and um, one of them, diggers, ooh, naughty guy, okay? Diggers is smoking some of the weedy puff. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really into it, as you probably guessed, by the fact that I just called it weedy puff out loud. <laughs> weedy puff, weed, that's how normal people talk, Jack. No, so, he was smoking some weed, and he turned to me, and he went, you know, Jack, do you want to have a suck on this? Uh, not, not suck, not suck. That is not the word that he used. That is not what he... <laughs> this story's going really well. Yeah, I was down a back street with one of my friends, and he asked if I wanted to have a suck on this. That is not... <laughs> I'm having a brain burn. Well, not suck, what's the word? Puff, thank you, to the crack hole down the front. I, uh... <laughs> do you want to have a puff on this weed? Anyway. I said, no, because, you know, we're in public. It's not a great look. What if someone sees? He went, Jack, two things. Firstly, it's legal. Secondly, we're in Holland. No one knows who the fuck you are. <laughs> Smoke it. Now, I'm not proud, OK? I gave in to the peer pressure. This is why you cannot smoke a spliff on the street in the year 2017. I shit you not, as I put this spliff to my lips, I looked up, and the bloody Google Maps car with the 360 camera was driving. <laughs> There's certain situations in life, right, where every time I fall apart, complaining is one of them. Passport control, that's another. Can't do it. And I don't have anything to hide. <laughs> I, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it doesn't help that I have the creepiest passport photo that has ever been taken. <laughs> People looking at me thinking, you've got a bad passport photo, you have not seen anything yet. Brace yourselves <laughs> for this shit. Yes, very funny, Benedict, we can all read. <laughs> so every time I approach passport control, that is in my head, that I'm about to hand that over. It does not excuse how much I fall apart under the most basic of questioning. I walk up, I'm like, hello, where are you travelling from today, sir? France. No, Spain. Shit, sorry, Italy. <laughs> Don't know why I said that. Didn't sleep on the plane. Drugs didn't work. Not drugs like drugs, drugs. I mean drugs like sleeping pill drugs. I didn't have any drugs on me. I promise you, I'm not a mule. Don't look at my bottom. I have explosive diarrhoea. Not explosive like a bomb. Shit. Just said bomb in an airport. Well, it's just a word. The more you say it, the less offensive it becomes. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Oh, it's like a song. Bomb, 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 bomb. I'll stop saying bomb now because you're all looking at me like I'm a terrorist. I promise you, I'm not a terrorist. I'm just Jack, plain old Jack. Hi, Jack. Not hijacked shit, no, no, no. <laughs> People think it's acceptable to cut in line at airports. Never acceptable to barge the line, all right? Some people think there are exceptions. Like if you're late. Not an excuse. I was waiting to check in in the airport the other day. This woman comes barging to the front and proffers this bullshit. Sorry, excuse me, sorry, excuse me, sorry. I've got to get a flight. <laughs> well, no shit, Sherlock. We're in a fucking airport! Why do you think I'm here? To buy a big Toblerone? Hmm? Please, let me get out of your way with these bags which I just take with me everywhere! Back of the line! The reason I hate travelling is because I can't sleep in public. And I can't sleep in public because I sleep with my eyes open. Medical condition, not just a habit from boarding school. The, uh... <laughs> Watch it. 
Apparently 4% of the population sleep with their eyes open. Does anyone else? No, no one. <laughs> well, there might be some in, we don't know, they've nodded off. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's not the whole way, but if I fall asleep with my contact lenses in, it's pretty peculiar. A friend of mine took a photograph of me recently, passed out in public. <laughs> this is the look we're going for. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hello, ladies. <laughs> Such an embarrassing photo for me to have to show you. Please don't tell anyone that I was on a bus. <laughs> <laughs> so bad, this situation. So bad, right, that someone complained about me once on a plane. I know. I was like, uh, it is a medical condition, OK? <laughs> but looking back on it now, I can kind of see it from my fellow passenger's perspective. Because he did not know that I slept with my eyes open. Also, not the only trick that my body plays on me when I fall asleep. <laughs> yeah, a couple of you are ahead of me here. I imagine for my fellow passenger, it was quite unnerving that for the duration of a three-hour flight, every time he turned to his left, the passenger in the seat next to him appeared to be slumped there, gazing into his eyes, <laughs> drool tumbling from my bottom lip, nursing a semi. Oh. 